So how about this sticking with politics? New poll out this morning giving us a glimpse at where the race stands for the U.S. Senate seat, very important one, yes. which is up for grabs this November. Ron has the new information just into the newsroom this morning. Hi, Ron. Yeah, this is the race for Kirsten Sinema's seat. Now, she was elected as a Democrat, but today is an independent, and she hasn't said yet whether she will run for re-election. But if she does, according to this poll, she will have her work cut out for her. Democratic Congressman Ruben Gallego currently in the lead in a hypothetical three-way race for the Arizona Senate seat. So let's roll those numbers and show you what we're looking at right now. Gallego leading with 36 percent compared to 30 percent for Republican candidate Carrie Lake. Uh, keep in mind now she still would have to clear the uh, primary there on the GOP side. Uh, Sheriff Mark Lamb, of course, uh, also uh, in that race. But this poll, she is considered the front runner amongst Republicans. So this poll is, looks at a three-way. By the way, in this poll, t only 21 percent indicated they would be voting for Kirsten Cinema. 13 percent remain undecided. So, what if Cinema doesn't uh, actually enter the race in a matchup between just Gallego? and Lake, then Gallego's lead is at 46% to 39% for Kerry Lake. But again, a pretty good chunk undecided. That would be 15% undecided. The poll conducted by The Hill and Emerson College. So in the meantime, you guys, the same poll, this is really interesting, shows Arizona leaning right now toward Donald Trump. Uh, in the uh, upcoming uh, presidential vote in November in a one-on-one -on -one matchup with President Biden. 46% of voters right now saying they plan to vote for the former president. 43% saying they would back Biden. So just a snapshot in time. Things change a lot between now and November. But right now, Arizona's leaning Republican in the presidential vote but leaning Democrat in the Senate vote. Interesting, mm. right? Yeah. Still it's close, though, and with 13 to 15 percent undecided, the numbers could absolutely move around. And a long way to go here till okay. November. Yeah. Ron, thank you. I'm surprised we haven't seen the political ads yet. It seems like by this time, normally, it's the only yeah. thing you see anywhere. So it's been kind of quiet. We'll see what happens. At least here in Arizona.